Morning all. All right, so we've got uh, 13 games tonight in the National Hockey League. Yep, busy night. Uh, we got five games starting at 4 Pacific, 7 o'clock Eastern. Uh, half an hour later, game five gets started, and then we got two more an hour later, one an hour later, and then four. Four. Seven o'clock starts my time, 10 o'clock Eastern. So 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between the Ottawa Senators and the Boston Bruins on January 25th. Boston won this matchup in overtime 3-2. to two. The third and final meeting will be April the 16th. Uh, Ottawa 28, 34, and 4. They're 3, 6, and 1 over their last 10. They're playing out the string. They're going to try to play spoiler tonight against the Bruins. Stutzla has been their leading scorer over the last month. 15 games, 5 goals, 10 assists, 15 points. Uh, Pinto, 15 games, 3 goals, 8 assists, 11 points for him. Uh, it will be interesting to see this summer how many of the players uh, Ottawa decides they can jettison, how many they keep, and who they decide to keep, and who they decide to get let go. Uh, on the Boston side, they're 40, 14, and 15 overall. I keep wanting to say 40, 15, and 5, like that other 10 doesn't exist. Uh, but yeah, they're 6, 2, and 2 over their last 10 are the Boston Bruins. Uh, Poster knocked their leading score over the last month, 14 games, 7 goals, 10 assists, 17 points. Uh, Johnny Beecher, one goal in the two games he's played. Big Johnny Beecher fan. Hope he stays in the lineup for a while. Anyways, uh, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between Columbus and Detroit. Detroit's won the first two meetings. They're trying to sweep the season series, and they need to. Uh, October 16th, Detroit wins 4-0. November 11th, Detroit wins 5-4. Columbus is 23-34-11 overall. They're 4-5-1 over their last 10. Uh, Johnny Goudreau, their leading scorer over the last month, 15 games, 4 goals, 9 assists, 13 points. Texier has picked it up lately, 13 games, 2 goals, 6 assists, 8 points. When Texier is going, he's a player I like quite a bit. Anyways, Detroit, 34, 28, and 6 overall. They're 2-8 and eight in their last 10, and they've fallen one point back of the Washington Capitals and that final playoff spot in the East. Uh, Raymond, their leading scorer over the last month, 14 games, 7 goals, 6 assists, 13 points. JT Comfer, they could use something from him. 14 games, 3 goals, 3 assists, 6 points for Comfer. Uh, then, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between Pittsburgh and the New Jersey Devils on November 16th. The Devils won this matchup 5-2. to two. Uh, These teams will meet again on April the 2nd. For the Pittsburgh Penguins, they're 30, 28, and 9 overall. They're 3, 6, and 1 over their last 10. They sit 6 points behind the Washington Capitals in that final playoff spot. Crosby, the leading scorer over the last month, 15 games, 2 goals, 11 assists, 13 points. Bunting, since joining the Penguins, 6 games, 2 goals, 1 assist, 3 points. On the New Jersey side, they're 33, 32, and 4 overall. They're 3 and 7 over their last 10. So I'm taking Pittsburgh. I, I, I really think they've got a chance tonight because the Devils can disappoint at home. And there's seven points behind the Caps, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, Timo Meyer, the leading scorer for New Jersey over the last month. 14 games, 9 goals, 5 assists, 14 points. Uh, Brat, 14 games, 2 goals, 5 assists, 7 points. Insane. He only has 2 goals over the last month. He has so many rush chances, fast breaks, breakaways. He's got everything going for him. The goals have to start going in. 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between the Jets and the Rangers. The Rangers won the first meeting on October 30th by a score of 3-2 in overtime. Uh, for the Jets, they're 43-19-5 and five overall. They're 6-4 and four over their last 10. They're tied for first in the Central Division with both Colorado and Dallas. Uh, Morrissey, 15 games, 1 goal, 20 assists, 21 points, has been their leading scorer over the last month. Uh, Toffoli, since joining the Jets, has started get it to, getting it together. Four games, four goals, one assist, five points. Uh, he's had multiple goals in back-to-back -back games. We'll see how things go tonight against a Rangers team that's 45-19-4 overall. They're 6-3-1 in their last 10. Uh, Panarin, their leading scorer over the last month, 13 games, six goals, 14 assists, 20 points. Uh, he's getting closer and closer to his first ever 100-point season. Wenberg, since joining the Rangers, no goals yet, so he's due for one of those, but he has three assists in six games. 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Philadelphia Flyers. The Flyers need to have a better effort in this one. Uh, February 15th, the, uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs won an overtime 4-3 on March 14th. Very recently, obviously, 6-2 win for the Leafs. Uh, Toronto's 38-19-9 overall. They're 6-3-1 over their last 10. Nylanders, their leading scorer over the last month. 13 games, 8 goals, 8 assists, 16 points. Been a long time since Brody had a goal, but he does have 6 assists over 13 games, so he is being productive. But yeah, he's due for a goal. For Philadelphia, they're 34-26-8 overall. 4-5-1 over their last 10. They need to turn this around. 
Uh, York and Sanheim leading this team and scoring with three goals, six assists, nine points in 12 games over the last month, meaning it's not a forward that's leading him in scoring over that time. Uh, and for Johnson, since joining the team, four games and a minus five rating. So for Eric Johnson, he's going to want to get those numbers up a little bit from where they're at. 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific start between Carolina and the Islanders this is the fourth and final meeting. The Islanders have won two of the first three. Uh, Carolina won November 4th by a score of 4-3 to three in overtime. On November 30th, it's a 5-4 to four overtime win for the Islanders. And then December 23rd, it's a regulation win, 5-4 to four for the Islanders. So there's been a lot of scoring considering it's the Canes and the Islanders. A bit of a surprise there. Carolina's 42-20-6 overall. They're 8-2 over their last 10. Sebastian Ajo, their leading scorer over the last month in 14 games, 8 goals, 9 assists, 17 points. Jake Gensel, getting it together. 4 games, 1 goal, five, 4 assists, 5 points. Has looked really good the last couple of games out with Carolina. Uh, the Islanders, 29-23-15 overall. They're 6-3-1 over their last 10. They're 2 points back of Washington and that final playoff spot. Nelson, their leading scorer over the last month, 13 games, 6 goals, 9 assists, 15 points. Paul Mary in 13 games, 6 goals, 2 assists, 8 points. Uh, Paul Mary's goal scoring has been pretty effective lately. Uh, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific start between San Jose and the Nashville Predators. Nashville's going for the season sweep tonight. They won the first game October 21st by a score of 5-1. to one. February 24th, they won 4-2. to two. Of course, for Nashville, they are on quite the run, 14 games straight now with a point. They're going to tie a team record if they get a point tonight. Can San Jose play spoiler? The Sharks are 16-44-7 overall. They're 1-7-2 over their last 10. Michael Granlin, their leading scorer over the last month. 13 games, 3 goals, 10 assists, 13 points. Zadina, 5 goals in 13 games over that same time period. Uh, I think Zadina's played well. It'll be interesting to see this summer whether they re-sign him, if he goes somewhere else, or what happens. Uh, Nashville, 39-25-4 and four overall. They're 8-0-2 oh, over their last 10 games. Uh, and as I said, 14-game point streak. Nyquist, their leading scorer over the last month, 13 games, 6 goals, 11 assists, 17 points. For Anthony Beauvillier, he has not got a point yet with his third team this season. Uh, four games played thus far as a Pred. 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific start between Colorado and St. Louis. Uh, so Colorado's won two of the first three. We'll see how it goes tonight. November 1st, Colorado wins 4-1. November 11th, St. Louis won 8-2. to two. Uh, December 29th, Colorado won 2-1. to one. So St. Louis has more goals, but Colorado has more wins thus far. For the Avs, they're 43-20-5. They're part of that three-way tie for first in the division with Winnipeg and Dallas. They're 8-2 over their last 10, playing some of the best hockey in the NHL. Uh, McKinnon, 12 games over the last month, 9 goals, 16 assists, 25 points. Those totals are ridiculous. Uh, Nachushkin in four games since coming back to the team. Three goals, two assists, five points. They definitely missed him. It's made a difference having him back in the lineup. St. Louis is 36-29-3. and three. They're 6-3-1 three, and one in their last 10. They're four points behind the Vegas Golden Knights and that final playoff spot in the West. Uh, Thomas has been their leading scorer over the last month. 14 games, four goals, eight assists, 12 points. Kairou not scoring at that same rate. 14 games, 2 goals, 5 assists, 7 points. Those players are going to be compared because they have the same contracts. So there will always be the comparison between the two. 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific start between the Montreal Canadiens and the Ottawa Senators. Edmonton won the first. The Edmonton Oilers. Um, Senators are over there. Yeah, Canadians and the Oilers. So January the 13th, the Oilers won 2-1 to one in overtime. Uh, Montreal 25, 31, and 11 overall. They're 3, 4, and 3 over their last 10. Nick Suzuki, their leading scorer over the last month in 12 games, 6 goals, 4 assists, 10 points. Brendan Gallagher, really just the scoring hasn't been there for him this season. And you know, it'll be interesting to see what, what happens with him and his contract after this season. But 12 games, 3 goals, 1 assist, 4 points for Gallagher. On the, on the uh, Edmonton side, I don't know why I'm having trouble saying Edmonton. It's not early in the morning either. Anyways, 40, 21, and 4 is the record for the Oilers. They're 7, 1, and 2 in their last 10. For Connor McDavid, he is their leading scorer over the last month. 14 games, 4 goals, 21 assists, 25 points. So he started getting some goals here and there again. Uh, Sam Carrick, since joining the Oilers, 4 games and just the 1 goal thus far. 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. So we got 4 games starting at that time. So it's going to be an unusual Tuesday night. In that it's just going to be busy throughout, but not like overly crazy busy at any point in time. Uh, so the Anaheim Ducks and the Minnesota Wild have split the first two meetings so far this year. 
On January 27th, it was a 3-2 win for the Ducks. On March 24th, it was a 2-0 win for Minnesota. The Wild are 33-27-8 overall. They're 5-3-2 over their last 10. They're five points back of Vegas in that final playoff spot. Kaprizov, the leading scorer for Minnesota over the last month, 14 games, 15 goals, 10 assists, 25 points. He's been fantastic. Hartman, 14 games, 2 goals, 9 assists, 11 points. He's also been a plus 10. I meant to put that on the board. Uh, for Anaheim, they're 23-42-3 overall. They're 3-7 and seven over their last 10. Troy Terry, their leading scorer over the last month. 11 games, 4 goals, 5 assists, 9 points. Leeson was good the last game. 11, 11 games, 4 goals, 2 assists, 6 points for him over the last calendar month. Uh, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific start between Chicago and L.A. L.A. won the first meeting 5-0 on March the 15th. Feels like that's been happening a lot with Chicago. Uh, but April 18th will be the third and final meeting between these teams. The Hawks are 19-44-5. Their record lately hasn't been bad. They're 4-5-1 and one over their last 10. Uh, Bedard, their leading scorer over the last month, of course. 13 games, 5 goals, 12 assists, 17 points. Reichel had an assist in the game he played last, uh, being called back up. We'll see if maybe playing in Rockford for a while helped him out. Uh, on the LA side, they're 34, 22, and 11 overall. They're 5, 4, and 1 over their last 10. They're in that dogfight for third place with Vegas. Uh, Fiala, uh, 14 games, 9 goals, 6 assists, 15 points for Fiala over the last month to be their leading scorer. Byfield, 2 goals, 7 assists, 9 points over 14 games in that same time period. 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific start between Buffalo and the Vancouver Canucks. Buffalo comes into this set, or. Four points behind Washington. I was going to say seven. Uh, Vancouver won the first meeting in Buffalo, one nothing on January thirteenth. Uh, for Buffalo, they're thirty three, thirty one, and five overall. They're six three and one in their last ten games, coming off of a win last night in Seattle and a commanding one at that. Uh, for Buffalo, Skinner, their leading scorer over the last month, fifteen games, seven goals, four assists, eleven points, coming off a hat trick last night. Bowen Byram in six games in Buffalo, three goals, two assists, five points, and just seems to have refound his game. Uh, for Vancouver, they're 42, 18, and 8. They're 5, 3, and 2 in their last 10 games. JT Miller, 12 games played, nine goals, eight assists, 17 points, is their leading scorer over the last month. Uh, Pedersen, surprisingly low totals here 12 games, three goals, four assists, seven points. Gonna need to pick that up going towards the playoffs. And then, finally, 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific, we have the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Vegas Golden Knights. Vegas went into Tampa Bay on December 21st and won a game 5-4. to four. That was a crazy one, as I remember it. Uh, Tampa Bay, 36-25-6 overall. They're 6-3-1 and one over their last 10. Kucherov, their leading scorer over the last month. 11 games, 4 goals, 16 assists, 20 points. Uh, Dumba, 3 games played so far with Tampa. No points for Matthew Dumba as of yet. On the Vegas side, they're 36, 24, and 7 overall. They're 4, 5, and 1 in their last 10. Feels like they're starting to turn it around, though. Uh, Marsh is so 13 games, 9 goals, 5 assists, 14 points. Is their leading scorer over the last month. Anthony Mantha has the one goal to show for his five games as a Vegas Golden Knight thus far, but he's looked dangerous. And so we'll see how things turn out. Let me know your picks in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe in the event that you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.